Hey guys, Ken here. Welcome back to L.A. Noir. I believe I am on the... Oh, I'm on the Narcotics Reefer Madness. Well. Well, well, well. Let's see. Okay. Just looking at my phone. I just submitted a uh, application. Job application. It's been a busy day for me, I'm not gonna lie, but... I think this video might be out at like 8.30, because I'm recording this at 6.40 uh, Wednesday, so it's kind of like, oh boy. So maybe 8.30 or 9 o'clock. But, yeah. Freddie Calhoun? Sure, I know. Freddie Freddy needs money to get out of town. Says he's prepared to blow the whistle on a Primo reefer distribution ring. Says he Has can... Has he said how much it's going to cost? 50 bucks. And the department will front me the 50? You can put in an expense claim. He's over at Mike Lyman's on Hollywood Boulevard. See what you can find out. That bum took a swipe at me. I put him down with my staff. Interesting. Fifty bucks? Do they think I made of money? Yeah. No, you just look like you're made of money. Oh, very good. The kid's on form. I'd say on a scale of dull to scintillating, you're a solid tedious today, which you can be pleased with. Do you ever listen to yourself? Oh, wait, parking lot? Voices in my head as you do, Cole. Oh. Over here, and then we're gonna go over here, and then we're gonna go over here, and then this is the exit. I would assume, yep. Oh, but we gotta go over here. Find the vehicle. Make my partner drive. Because I hate driving. <laughs> I hate driving. So it sucks, but. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, crazy day today. Our county, actually, pretty much the entire state of New York was under a tornado watch. And I was one of those, um, under the tornado watch. I was, I was almost under a warning, but thankfully it was just a watch. And I'm safe and fine, obviously. There's a little snake. That's him in the back, Cole. Oh, is this... Freddy, you're looking good. You're gonna help me, right? That's what I'm here for. You got the money? The 20? Sure, yeah. right here. 20? I said... You want the money or the alternative? Tell us about the reefer, Freddy. Who's he? Another good Samaritan. Answer the question. Grass comes from Tijuana. They bring in 50 pounds a week. Why are they doing pounds? this in a restaurant? Are you hallucinating, Freddy? Get stashed for the house. Oh, you know what? I have to turn up the volume. Give me one second. Okay, we are back. Sorry about that. We're going to resume the gameplay now. 1452 North Las Palmas. Names, Freddy. The guy at the house is a spick that goes by the name Juan Garcia Cruz. Now be careful. He likes guns. Now do I get my money? Do me a favor, Freddy. Spend the money on a bus ticket. You can't last forever on a snitch jacket. Let's go visit this cruise character. 50 pounds of dope. Crazy. Yo. That's, uh, that's killer, man. Who wouldn't want 50 pounds of dope? You're behind the wheel. Uh, Where are we going? The tra- um, who, who is it? You drive. I need to go over the case. Julian. Julian would want that 50 pounds of- Dope. Right? Trailer Park Boys? You believe his story? Or was it, um... Sure. A uh, hophead like Freddy would raffle Might have been Ricky, I'm not too sure. Score. So, what about the next score? I don't know. I think it, it it's one of the characters from Trailer Park Boys. They'd want all that dope for whatever. It's, like, really funny, but it is what it is.
Um, well. Okay. Ouch. I hurt. Oh. Call for help. I'll try to find a way in. <laughs> Holy crap. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Call for help. I'll try to find the way in. Do I seriously just have to shoot at those two? Wait, 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 wait. How are you supposed to shoot at the... I, 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 don't, I don't get it. I honestly, God, don't get it. How are you supposed to... Do, are you supposed to stay in cover, for God's sake? You'll try and find a way in, so we gotta find a way in then, I guess. You know what? Shots fired and officers need help at 1452 North Las Palmas. Roger, Lemming K. All units, officers need help at 1452 North Las Palmas. Officers need help at 1452 North Las Palmas. Shots fired. It is to handle identify code 3. Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. Yeah, that's what I thought. Surrender now or I will use deadly force. Move, I got you. He scared the ever-living hell out of me. I actually thought I was gonna die. Oh my god, I seriously thought I was gonna die. My god, that dude walked up on me and was literally about to kill me. I'll ask you politely to move on. Next time I won't be so nice. You guys don't have to leave a mess. What happened? Dope peddler, Juan Cruz. You open fire and, well, the rest of the story tells itself. Yeah, yeah it does. Ah, uh, the neck cracking. Uh, what's that, dope? No, it's a silver, silver dollar. dollar. I thought they took these things out of circulation. I don't know. Uh, looks like it's 1896, so... I don't know when this takes place, though. But I kind of wonder if they actually did or not. What was my... Okay, whatever. Uh... No, 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 no. Dummy, yeah. There we go, that's what I wanted. There's his wallet. That's all I was looking for. 
Juan Garcia Cruz. This is his address, but this place looks like a front. It does. All right, let's check the other arm. Looks like we got nothing. All right. Heh, let's go check out that weapon he had. That's an interesting weapon. Do you think we'd have to go to the, uh, gun store? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, come on. Nope. Nothing significant. Yeah, nothing significant, all right. But what's this? Another day, another Is this a drug or a village in Borneo? Doesn't appear to be in Spanish. I kind of wonder the same thing. Hello, Crothers. Or Pinker. Pinkther. Pinker. Whatever. Oh, is it the body? Yeah. Oh, hold on. Yo, that's not a... That's not... Okay. Bullet holes. Doesn't anyone eat regular meals anymore? Junkies feeding on popcorn and grasshoppers living on soup. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But there's bullet holes in them. But it's ammo. It's ammo. What the hell is this? Um, I don't know what we're looking at. Do we know what we're looking at here? Do I have to tap something and it'll just magically appear? <laughs> um, I don't know. It doesn't nothing looks out of the ordinary with that one. I don't know. You know, for a house like this, circumstantial. For a house like this, it's got a lot of ammo in here. For something very significant. Um, well, let's go check this area. I wouldn't be surprised if, if something dings. Hmm. Don't think this is any use to us. Nuts and bolts. You serious? More? No good to me. Nah, fam. Ha! Huh. Phelps, you jump like a girl. <laughs> You're funny. What the now hell? We're getting somewhere. Uh, 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 I'm gonna check these first. I'm gonna check these. Okay, we've got nuts and bolts in there. Okay. Nah, I gotta check this one. I doubt it. Ah, uh, shut up. Okay, just, just just making sure, guys. Gotta make sure. I knew something looked really suspicious when uh I was back here. More soup? Who in the hell keeps a secret stash of soup? Huh? Not this guy. Turn around, ding dong. 
Oh my! Oh oh! With one Jesus! Dead, we need a new suspect, Cole. Is there a pattern to the deliveries? Uh, yes, there is actually. It's this guy right here. This guy EJ seems to be bringing in most of the serious weight. The dates and times seem pretty regular. We should notify the border crossing. Those fuckers are probably in on it. Let's wait and see how this plays out. More? You hungry or something, Phelps? <laughs> Are you hungry or something, Phelps? Whoa. Hey, look what we got here. I'd say that's pretty good value for 12 cents. Factory sealed. Someone at the cannery has a lot of explaining to do. Oh, don't they ever. We got some good stuff in there. Can we open this up too? Pretty sure we can. Yep, there's more of it too. My, oh my. So now what? I think we still need to investigate the rest of this house. Um, I doubt there's anything on the other side. But, you know what? My dude has a garage over here. So, it looks like we must go investigate the garage. Oh, okay. No, no, that's fine, that's fine. Um... You know, what is this stuff over here? Uh-oh, uh, uh uh-oh, uh-oh. No, 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 no. Don't, don't come over here. Thank you. And he goes over anyhow. That's wonderful. I'm gonna leave him. Anything in these trash cans? Oh, that'd be a bummer if, like... That would be something if, um, there was stuff in the trash cans. But no, I'm gonna, like, scour the outside first. Okay. Where were they firing from? They were firing from... Well, one was in here, so we haven't gone in here just yet. And it looks like we have a gun on our hands. What's up, buddy? Junk. Junk? Dude! This is probably junk, too. This is a bunch of ammo. Don't think this is anything. Listen, I'm just trying to make sure that I have everything down pat. Like, for God's sake. Maybe these are the guys keeping Juan so well stocked with soup. Just maybe. Now, how come it didn't ring when... How come it didn't ring when, uh... I went for that newspaper. There is something to do with that soup company. My god. I think we're done in this house, are we? Well, let's let's look up the... Let's use the telephone. C can I not? Do I have to talk to uh, Carruthers? Not now, Phelps. Okay, I'm sorry. My god. I'm surprised. How come I can't use this phone? Can I not actually use the phone? Okay. Um, let's go to the Parnell Soup Factory. I think we found everything in this house we're supposed to find. So let's go to uh, the soup factory. Uh, I forgot my partner's name, but you can, can drive. Can you go to this one? Shut the hell up. Brother says the morphine is still turning up. Makes sense. We have no idea how much of the stuff Lenny shifted. There's been no comeback from Cohen as yet. 
And the huh. Confidential Magazine is right, and Bugsy is on the slide. You it's a good thing stuff? I uh, opened the uh, cans. His face if I was you. That is one hot-tempered son of a bitch. Ah, tell me about it. Tell me about it. Boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy. This is a, an interesting episode so far. Ah, Arnell Soup Factory and 37 AM. Now? Right. Let's see if we can find out who's been over seasoning the soup in this place. Yeah, let's go find out. They're probably going to give us a fight, but we'll see. LAPD. Who owns this factory, ma'am? Mr. Parnell. Howard Parnell. I'll let him know you're here. Please, take a seat. If you don't mind, we'll come with you. If you must. Sorry, I was taking you just a drink. You a follower, didn't you? You sly dog. I must apologize for my partner's roving eye. He hates saying goodbye, but he loves watching them leave. Dude, my partner has... Arrest, Roy. Roy, shut up. If you could show these men in to see Mr. Parnell, Doris. They're from the LAPD. Follow me, gentlemen. She sounds very snippy, my God. What is going on? Hi. What's LAPD. your name? LAPD. Sit tight, fatso. You could be in very <laughs> serious trouble. Oh, my God! There's no reason to be rude. Yeah. Take a seat, gentlemen. Come on, sure Roy. Let's this all out. Maybe you can explain why we found $5 bags of marijuana in sealed Parnell soup cans. That's an outrageous allegation. How do you explain it, Chubby? Oh. We found at least 30 cans, all sealed up tight with your label on them. Can I get a list of your employees? Of course. We have nothing to hide. Doris, can you bring me in the current employee listing? Here it is, Mr. Parnell. On the desk, please. Uh, why is she walking? Oh my god. Oh, okay, I see. I see. Any name on that list that rings a bell? Um... EJ. Where is he? No fixed address. Where's EJ? I have an... Yeah. Let's turn the page here. Uh, da da da. I have an E E. Lewis, uh huh, uh huh. Did we miss him? Wait, did we? Wait, wait, wait. No. Rafael Vasquez, but that's not it. E. EJ? I swear it's EJ. Alejandro. Da, da, da. No, we have to turn the page. I think he's on the other page. Um. This guy? No? No, okay. Uh, what about... Why do these guys have no fixed addresses? Carlos... Hugo. Can I... No, I got it. Oh, man. Um. Who is it? This guy? No. What the hell, man? Um. I don't know, man. This is oh. familiar. 1452 North Los Palmas. A Jorge Garcia Cruz. 
uh, 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 okay. Um, all right, what about the soup history? For your sales, Mr. Parnell. Just fine and dandy, son. We're entering a new era of prosperity. I hope you're both big soup eaters. Mm. Uh, uh. Mr. Parnell, no. do you know what kind of trouble you're in? Come clean with us. Okay, so things are a little flat. We're deciding whether to lower production. It's taken a while to adjust to not having any military contracts. You know, we sold Uncle Sam five million cans of minestrone. Uh, what about the factory sealed soup cans? The factory sealed cans we found suggest a very professional operation, Mr. Parnell. We're looking for an inside man. I know nothing about this. I want this stopped as much as you do. That's doubt. Tell me what I want to know, Parnell, or I will have half the LAPD down here tearing this place apart. You're hiding something. Am I right in thinking you would not want to pursue misdemeanors outside your drug case? Depending on what you call a misdemeanor, we might be prepared to turn a blind eye. The truth is I employ a lot of illegals. No one wants to do menial work anymore. Most of my factory staff are wetbacks. The local blacks and Chicanos all want jobs in aircraft factories. Presumably because the pay is a lot better. Okay, what about the knowledge of the Cruz brothers? Ever heard of Juan Garcia Cruz? Not that I know of. He has a brother employed here. You know him? We employ large numbers of Mexicans. I, I'm not familiar with them all. Doubt, obviously. He has the same address as his brother Juan, who we shot dead less than an hour ago. You better give me something. Look, I'm not involved in this. I'm I will be right back. All right, we are back with the action. My apologies. We are going to continue what we were doing. Getting enough grief from Washington. There's an investigation going on into profiteering. Like a guy shouldn't be able to turn a buck while the war is on. I'm sure thousands of dead Marines sleep soundly knowing that you did okay. Okay, what about the inside man for uh, jo uh, Jorge or George Garcia? Tell us about Jorge Garcia. Jorge, Garcia. sorry. Jorge? I had no idea of his last name. His team does daily maintenance on the conveyor belts and cookers. I mean, is that what they really do at a factory? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say truth on this one. So he's here now? Okay. No, maintenance is at night. Uh, night shift finishes around midnight. He would usually come in around 9 p.m. and have everything ready for the morning shift at 6. We'd like to take a look around the factory floor, Mr. Parnell. I hope we won't have to shut down the line. No, nothing like that. Thank you. I'm grateful for that. I'll show you around myself. Oh, man. I hate seeing how things are made. This is going to be like that time I went to the slaughterhouse and couldn't eat steak for a week. <laughs> couldn't eat steak for a week. I was taking a, a drink of my Gatorade, sorry, but I didn't keep up with the weirdo. But why am I apologizing? I don't need to be sorry. This is where the produce comes in. We peel and sort all of the vegetables and add them to the line in regular quantities. Fascinating. How, how are you so sure that this actually happens and no weed is being put in there? Okay. Why don't you keep quiet? You might learn something. Oh, good God. This really is turning into some nightmare school trip flashback. How the hell is everything getting crushed off? That, okay. I'm sorry, I just had to take a look at that. This is the hopper, which boils and purees the vegetables. The other hopper is for the pasta. This way, please. You're loving this, aren't you, Phelps? Nope. New. The soup is ladled automatically into cans. Next stage is labeling. I'd like to see the packing and dispatch area, if you don't mind. Sure. It's over here. Follow me. Interesting. 
This is one of our dispatchers. Sergio, right? Yes, sir. These men are from the LAPD. Sergio here records our outgoing deliveries. They all go in the book, just there on the desk. Do you mind if I take a look at them? We're looking for repeat business in large amounts, Cole. I think we have the 20th century market. What's going on, Parnell? There's enough soup going to this place every day to feed a company of Marines. What are you talking about? Can I have a look at that coin? Sure, why not? Silver dollar, right? Yeah, that's right. The markings on it say it's been taken out of circulation. Maybe. I'm not trying to buy anything with it. I like it. Brings me luck. Okay. Factory sealed soup cans. Do you have access to the canning area? I do. But I keep to my station. Loading and unloading. Don't care much for soup. Sure about that? Sergio, if you don't give me something, I'm gonna go to immigration services and have you deported. <laughs> oh my god. Get a shipment once every two weeks. Ernesto does the driving. I don't know his full name. It's delivered here at night. Or he gets it canned up. From here it gets sent all over the country. Okay, 20th century market. What do you know about the 20th century market? Nada. I get the orders from upstairs. I send the goods where I'm told. And you don't know Juan Garcia Cruz? No, not me. That's a lie. You're a liar, Sergio. You're in it, and I'm gonna break you for it. You're loco, Placa. I got nothing to do with Juan Garcia. What about the silver dollar? We found a matching silver dollar on Juan Garcia. What are the odds of that, Sergio? One and Jorge are in brothers. They're cousins. They work for some evil gabacho. Gabacho? The guy is an aberration. He gives out the silver dollars. Oh, really now? He gets me a list of deliveries every morning. 20th century is always on. You keep your mouth shut for today and I don't take you in. Do we have a deal? Do I have a choice? Is that a serious question? <laughs> That's it for now, Sergio. If we need to speak to you again, we'll put in a call to Mr. Parnell. If you have to, I guess. We will be in touch, Mr. Parnell. It is imperative that things appear as normal here. Keep an eye on Sergio in case he gets tempted to blow the whistle. Thanks. I'll do that. You're going to overlook my little immigration problem, aren't you? Cheer up, fatso. Yeah. We're going to let you go on squeezing these poor saps a little while longer. Well, until some commie union types infiltrate this place. <laughs> I am glad to be out of that place. I never knew fresh vegetables could smell so bad. You said it right in front of that worker. She don't, she's just like sitting there like, what? What did I hear? All right, people. You're gonna be driving. You can drive. All right, where to? 20th Century Market. How many years have you been in Vice, Roy? More years than I want to own up to, Phelps. You have any idea who Rojas was talking about? The gringo runs the operation? Could be anybody. Could be. You don't expect those morons to be running the show, do you? If you ask Rojas how much a silver dollar is worth, he'd probably say 50 cents. What do you really though? That that's kind of the real question. What do you really though? Oh boy. 
odd man out. That's like me at my family functions. Sit tight. Let's take a look at what's going on. Either these customers are serious soup lovers, or I think we found our middleman. Car 11 King to KGPL. Car 11 King, go ahead. I'm requesting assistance in a B wagon at 20th Century Markets, 1558 North Highland. Numerous narcotic suspects. Code 2 only, no sirens. 11K, Roger. Okay. Cavalry should be here any minute. Chances. Ah, there he goes. It appears we are now in a foot pursuit. I wonder why. I knew he was going to do that. <laughs> I was just waiting for him to hit me, you idiot. You better stop in the name of the LAPD, mother trucker. And there he goes, hiding behind a wall. I ain't scared of you. I ain't scared of you too, bandejo. Let's go, man. Chance. Oh, he's going to repeat the same words, eh? I'm not scared of you. Screw you. I'm going in for a tackle. Are you done? There he is. What an uppercut. Now, I'd like to know who that guy was. Because that's a definite... That's an interesting one. Whatever you're carrying, hand it over. Oh. Well, well, well. I'd say he's got about half a can left. I guess that makes me a pessimist. Okay. You can't take me in. Yeah, take you I, I, in, dude. Be glad he didn't shoot you. I wouldn't have chased you. If it was up to me, you'd be talking out of a hole in the back of your I head. I want information. Senor, I would like to help you. But I got a family in Mexico I have to provide for. And my compadres are very unreasonable. Your compadres? Turn out your pockets. There's a silver dollar again. I need Ray to run down these silver dollars. Will you be working? I need to make a deal. I need guarantees. You have identification? Yeah, really, who are you? Art... Art... Arto? Sanchez Erto. Erickson. Tijuana address. Okay, very good. Money! What do we got here? Nothing much. Maybe it looks like three bucks. Here's the deal, Erto. You give me information, and I won't give you to immigration. Jesus. Knowledge of EJ. Give me EJ, the driver bringing in the shipments, or I'll make you for it. I run the shop. That's all I do. Liar. 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 Tell me the it's goddamn silver truth. dollars. You are in this with the others. Right? I told you I know them. I told you my family's at risk. What makes me part of their gang? The silver dollars. You have a silver dollar, Erto, just like Juan. I'm sure Ernesto and the rest have them as well. The silver dollars are his mark. Whose? Give me a name. None of us are allowed to see him. His creatures carry his orders to us. If I gave you his name, I would be buried alongside my wife and children. If you don't give us something, you will rot in jail while your family starves on the street. Mm. Ernesto Juarez, tonight at 1 a.m. He's bringing the truck into the soup factory. Please help me, sir. Ernesto can be very cruel. 
Okay. What about, Tell the, me about soup the soup cans. shipments? The soup is very popular. Shipments, whatever. As you can see. Down. Real funny, wise guy. You want to try saying that again with no teeth? I get a delivery at 7.30 every other day from the factory. Jorge organizes everything. Hey, Juan and We know about George. Jorge and Juan. Or Jorge. Juan, said. Juan and Jorge, whatever. Tell us how you know the Cruz boys. Ernesto put together this thing. He brought in Juan, Juan brought in Jorge. Jorge. Sure. Continue. I was already here. Ernesto knows I'm illegal. So he threatened to report me if I didn't help. And the money is good. The gringos and the gringas, they love the reefer. And I didn't want to have to leave and start again in San Francisco. You're breaking my heart. Okay. You're under arrest, Erto. I'll speak to the DA and see if he will agree to not seize your assets or deport you. That's the best I can do. So now what? Now what? Do we, do we apprehend this? Truck driver? I'm assuming so. Right? Mel Suit Company, 10 p.m. <laughs> We're just sitting there. Sitting there like nothing even happened. said they were moving happening. 50 pounds a week. That's a lot of soup cans. I think oh, this is I'm driving? Operation. God dang it. Moving dope around the country to selected grasshoppers. Local weed gets distributed in the usual way, through Pachuco street punks. Someone must know something about this drug baron character. Here they come. Oh, really? Let them unload the goods first. Now, let's get them. Holy crap. This is the place. All right. All right, move. Move. Let's go. Oh. Yeah, no, I'm selecting this one. Oh, yeah, no. Everyone into position. Got your okay, back. Okay, gentlemen, we'll take the lead. You cover us. Oh, this is ought to this ought to be fun. LAPD, put your hands where we can see them. Throw out the guns. Go, Fel. Get in there. Oh, there's people all over the place. Oh my god.
Oh, is this guy above us? He might be. I want to believe that it is. So did we just take down... Uh, <laughs> he just took down a factory full of non-violent criminals. How come there were so many of them in there, though? Holy crap. Was that like the Detective. midnight shift? Found something here you probably want to see. Oh. Please. Is it what I've been looking for this whole time? Where? Where is it? This guy? This seriously this guy? Uh. Oh, what's this? Uh oh. It's Ernesto. If you want to address, we should see what the federales have on him. Awesome. Oh, what's this? Huh. Interesting. I think I did. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? Well, well, well. One dollar per dead man. Doesn't seem like much for a human life. Mmm. I like that. Nothing, obviously, on the hand. Uh, I think that's it. God damn. I think we found our stash, Cole. Take a look in these boxes. These ones here? Whoa. At the very minimum, another 50 pounds. Damn, man. Detectives! I think we got the guy! Does the name Cruz mean something to you? Yeah. It certainly does. Oh, I can't go follow him now. Did we shoot a Cruz? Lead me right to him. Oh, is that the last man I shot upstairs? That would be hilarious. Uh, behind this box here. Uh, I believe this was it. Whoa! Holy wad of cash! Must be a thousand dollars here. Yo, I wish I had that in real life. Anyway, there's a silver dollar again. Yet another silver dollar. Phelps, Earl, looks like quite a bloodbath. What was this all about? Hi, Crothers Crudgy and money. Pinkers. What else? Speaking of money, where did that roll go? I picked it up for safekeeping. The department owes me 50. Ray, I have another two coins for you. Great. I've got something to show you. It's all set up on the table over here. There. Take a look at these coins you've been collecting. There are letters cut into each coin, along with not legal tender. What do you mean? Those are Morgan silver dollars from the 20s. They were removed from circulation and sent for disposal. A number of smelters around the country had the contract. Look at them together. Can you work out what it says? Uh. Well, can we do. Mat. Mass. Oh, maybe it is mass. It could be mass. Mass. Massinger, Massin K. No. Mass. Mass and K. Mass and K. Right. And then I think it's. The first coin, M-A-S. The second, A-N-G. 
the third K-A-Y, the fourth M-E-T, the fifth A-L-S, Mesenke Metals. A metal foundry. Would you like the address? Would I ever. 1034 Vine Street, Hollywood. We'll finish up here. It's already been a long night, Phelps. See if you can talk them into giving themselves up. Oh. Very interesting. How do we get out of here again? Yeah, uh, right through here. Hi. I forgot if you're the bald one or the great one. I don't know. I'm surprised that woman isn't here. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Mass. Do we know where we're going? Yes, we know where we're going. We're going to the Mass and K Metals or whatever that place is called. Yeah, that 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 I hope place. That big wad of cash doesn't weigh you down. It's your priority, straight Phelps. We're close to bringing in one of the biggest dope cases of the year, and you're worrying about unsubstantial evidence. I'm worried about it. I, I don't even know what they're talking about. I was looking at Snapchat. So I have no clue. Keep out private property, eh? I find that hard to believe. Locked. We need another way in. Another way in? Another way in? Come on, man. You're paying for every last scratch. Okay, maybe that doesn't work. Let's go f find out where stuff might be. Oh, I hear a cat fight going on. <gasps> right here. I see, I see. Yep, that'll work. So now what? Now what? How do we get in this place? I must cover the back door, Roy. You win one more hand, Andy. I'm taking my money and going home. And fuck whose turn it is to mine shop. Hey, what can I say? I got lucky. Bullshit. You're cheating. And I'm gonna catch you at it before the night is out. Now deal. Hey! Reinforcements are on the way! Cease and desist. <laughs> oh crap. We have a good shootout happening here. Alright, I've got one guy running up the stairs. Can I can I alright? Um, where did he go? How did he get up there? I think he climbed up this ladder here. Don't know where he went though. Okay. What? Get the hell out of me, dude. Where is he? I have a good headshot. Who the hell's shooting? Oh boy. We've got quite a few up here. I'm gonna die. I better be covered. The son of a bitch is limping. Nice. Who the hell's breathing like that? They all just die. Victor Sanders. You know this guy? I should have known. Of course I know Roy. 
Roy and I have had an arrangement for Get many up. years. You're under arrest. Am I? We have a mountain of prima facie evidence, as well as the testimony. You'd be surprised how things have a habit of sorting themselves out. Evidence disappearing. Witnesses that can't be found. Policemen that forget. The impossible becomes probable when you have a client list like mine. Shut your mouth! Turn around and put your hands behind your back. Oh, he actually gives up just like that. Working vice can be a thankless task, Phelps. Do they but really just drag the, the guy like that? And the moms and dads and the oh my citizens, lord. I'd like to commend you and your partner for smashing this dope ring. Hey, yeah, you're welcome. The reefer is almost as big a threat to the children of this city as communism. Ooh. What about Sanders, Lieutenant? Leave Sanders to me, Phelps. Why? The chief will be looking after that one personally. He will be brought to trial. Phelps, we are celebrating your success. Don't push your luck. Sanders is no longer your problem. Hmm. Okay. 13 out of 13, nine, nine, nine. Even without Victor Sanders, the Parnell's soup pot bust is guaranteed to go down in LAPD history. Well, we are officially done with that one. I hope you guys liked the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on Friday. Goodbye.